Hey guys, this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and right now I feel very, very calm. I feel relaxed and I want to talk to you about a topic that I love to talk about. I tell my students this all the time and I want to tell you. So I'm giving you some insight into what I give my students. I don't know if I'm supposed to give this away but I am, but I am either way it goes. When it comes to seduction, always remember this rule. The girl is primary the number is secondary. I talk about this because I see guys love when they get a number. They love it. They're like, oh my God, I got a number. Do you know that the number is not the girl? Do you know that? Did you fuck the number? Did you kiss the number? Did you touch the number? Yeah, you probably did. And you're nasty. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But the thing is, I want you to understand that the girl is primary and the number is secondary. I'm gonna give you some insights into this rule and why I made this rule up. When I was first starting out in seduction and hitting the streets, I remember me loving to get numbers as well. I would love the fact that I would get a number. I would be so ecstatic for the fact that I would get a number. I've gotten numbers in my life because of course I started when I was younger, but just going out and seeing a girl I don't know, I've never seen before in my entire life, getting her number, bragging about it sometimes, it made so much a difference to me. I was like, oh my God, I got a number. Oh man, I'm just, I can't wait to text her and nothing would happen. Oh, I got another number. I would text her and nothing would happen. And I, time and time again, I would be like, my God, why isn't these girls getting back to me? Is, am I not worthy of these girls? Am I doing something fucking wrong? What is happening? So I started to make this rule and this rule is Fuck the number, get the girl. And to make it more polite, the girl is primary, the number is secondary. Let's think about some daytime examples where this applies. You meet a girl on a day. You say hi to her. She says hi back. You guys have an interesting interaction. It goes well. Everything is going so good and you just, it's so ecstatic to see her again. Then she never writes you ever again. She doesn't respond. She gives you a fake number. She doesn't accept your friend request on Facebook. All these different things happen as examples of you just going for the number and not going for the girl. Let's flip that around though. You meet the girl. Everything is going well. You have ecstatic interaction. But then instead of going for the number, you decide to say, hey, let's go for a walk. Let's go for a coffee. Let's go over here and see what's over here. I've, is something interesting happened over here? How much time do you have? Well, I have um, like 10 minutes because I'm on break. All right, you know what? I'll go get something to eat with you. This is what makes the woman like you. This is what makes a strong impression on a woman. Meeting a woman in the beginning makes a really, really strong impression. It does, it makes a really strong impression because you went up to her, you had the balls to do that. That's one thing that probably never happened to her again. And if it does, it will be done bad. You're the one that's done it good. But to make an even stronger impression on the girl, go for her. There's so many women out there just waiting and they're waiting. They're waiting for guys to come up to them and give them some sort of experience. Some experience besides, can I have your number? Let's go on a date sometime. They're waiting for more than just that. They want to be taken now sometimes. And you don't even know it because you never tried. Let's think about at night though. You go up to a girl at night. You notice that every guy in the club is going up to her, but then when you go up to her, for some reason, she likes you. She gives you a chance. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. She's laughing in front of you. She's touching you. You could have a chance with her. You text her that night. She doesn't get back. So you say, you know what? Maybe she was just, you know, uh, tipsy. I'll text her tomorrow. You text her tomorrow, she doesn't get back. <clears throat> you never hear from her again. The pain and the pain and pain of that will change you. And that's how it changed me. But let's say you went the other route. You start leading her around the club. You say, hey, let's go to this other bar. This other bar is good. You go have a dance with her. You get to know her in a secluded location in the club or the bar or whatever venue you're in. Now you make a stronger impression. I'm gonna give you two examples of how this rule up to this day 
makes a difference and has made a difference in my life. One example from the day. I was recently in Australia and I was talking to the Swedish girl. I said hello to her and she said that we couldn't meet that day but we had to meet when she came back from Sydney. And she'll be back in like, it was like five days later. It was Sunday, I believe. Yeah, it was before a workshop. And she was really, really uh, bent on that. She was like, this is what I'm gonna do and I'll see you when I get back. I had the choice in that moment. Really, I did. In my mind, I was like, yeah, I could just see her when she gets back. I'll be here for like three more weeks, that'll be fine. But then my mind said, go for the girl. My heart said that actually. Go for the girl. The, the number really doesn't matter, it doesn't. Because sometimes you get the number and the girl doesn't want to see you again. <laughs> really. In that moment, I said, you know what? She, okay, this is what happened. She said, let's, uh, let's just meet when I'm back on Friday. And I was like, well, you know, that's a long time. I'd rather just, yeah, let's just go for a drink tonight. She's like, I really can, I have to pack. I was like, all right. I guess we're just, we're just gonna have to go for a juice now. And she was like, um, then I was like, don't worry. I understand that you have to go print off this paper. Just print off your paper, we'll have one juice and then you can go. She went and printed off the paper. We went and got the juice. And when we sat in the grass, things started to shift. We're sitting in the grass and then we started to really get on with each other. Uh, a really strong connection started to build, sexually as well. And from this place with us sitting in the grass, she started to look at me and really in a really, really uh, strange way. And she went, you know, when you look at me, you really look. And that really turned on for some reason, of course, because when you look at a girl with eyes of, you're, you're the only one that matters in this moment, she feels deeply seen. That was what was happening in that moment. And from there, what happened was things started to become very, very sexual because she, she was really turned on by the fact that I only had eyes for her in that moment. And I said, what are you thinking about right now? She said, mm, nothing. And she looked that way like this. And I said, yeah, you're thinking about something. I can see that your mouth is jittering. You're thinking about something. And then she looked down and I just went in and grabbed her head and I started kissing her. Now, this was, when, this was within 45 minutes of meeting this woman on the, uh, on the, by the library, by the, state, say, by the Victoria Library. And we're sitting in the grass and we're making out and we're getting really, really hot and heavy. And then I go, let's go to your prison bedroom because she told me her bedroom was small. And she said, I told my friend that, you know, we, we, we wouldn't do this because it's not enough privacy. But I, otherwise, I will let you come to my prison bedroom. And I'll start thinking of this must happen now because after this moment leaves, she actually might tra change into another way. Like, uh, maybe I shouldn't have did that or um, that was too fast. So I was like, all right, well, come see my prison bedroom. It looks like a prison. My sheets are uh, orange, da 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 And she's like, uh, I don't know, I have to go pack. And I was like, all right, well, let's just walk. And I started walking towards my house. And she was like, I'm not seeing your prison bedroom. I was like, all right. And I kept walking with her. I put her arm around me, we were walking. And then I saw this, this Chinese restaurant. And I knew that it had a bathroom in there where you could lock the door. So I walked in and the lady was like, you can't use the bathroom unless you buy something. I said, all right, I'll buy one spring roll. And that's not even a such thing. So I just said that. And we went upstairs and long story short, I took her into the bathroom and you know what happened from there. From that experience, if I, back in the day, if I would have never made this rule that the girl is primary, I would have given up at certain points that I, I would have uh, right now not given up. I would have been like, all right, well, you know what? We had a good kiss. Maybe, she, you know, this girl seems confident enough. Maybe she'll see me when she gets back and that'll be it. And guess what? When she got back, she got back with her ex-boyfriend. So I didn't see her again. But she told me it was a fucking great experience. Now she sent me in the text, she said it was a great experience and take care. But imagine if I would have waited, she would have got back with her boyfriend and nothing would have happened between us. Another example, earlier this week, today is Saturday, on Monday I, when I was pulling, I uh, took this Dutch girl home and before I took her home, I took her in the bathroom of the club and I was fingering her and kissing her and I wanted to fuck her but then the club ended and we were the last two there. So when we walked out, of course, the, the fucking bartender, I mean the, fucking bouncer and the lady who was guarding the bathroom saw us and we walked out and the girl she kept putting up things like uh all right well it's nice meeting you and i was like well before you say it was nice meeting me uh you know what i live close by let's just go there because i know that this is your last night and i know that you want to pleasure me and i want to pleasure you and she's like um i don't know how far are you how far is it away and i was like it's just five minutes even though it was 15 and she's like, ah, that's too far. And she started giving up all these reasons and excuses. And all I knew it, what it was is that she was just scared. That's what it was. And I calmed her down. I calmed her down. And eventually, she's, she uh, started trying to project her fears onto me. And then I just cut the shit down with truth. 
like I always teach, which I'll be teaching in another video. Eventually, I took her home and we had sex. Now, in the past, what I would have done, if I would have tried to see her the next day. I would have been like, all right, well, you know what? Let's just uh, do numbers and I'll just see you tomorrow before you leave town. And I've had it happen so many times where I've said, all right, I'll just try to go on a date with the girl and see what happens. And she never spoke to me again or she had some excuse like, my friend is sick and I have to stay, I gotta stay here with her. That happened to me with an Argentinian girl here. And she's like, ah, I gotta stay with my friend. And the pain of that happened so many times of girls not talking to me again and girls not getting back to me that I was just like, fuck this. The girl is primary, the number is secondary. If the girl doesn't want to see me again after I try to go as far as I can, so be it. I'd rather have that than to go kind of far and then have her not ever see me again. That's why I made this rule. Take this rule on board for yourself. When you go out there and you're meeting women, please take this rule. The girl is primary and the number is secondary. Don't forget this because you will go through a lot of pain. You will. If you're out there just trying to go for numbers and you're not going for the girl, you are taking yourself down the wrong path. Please don't do the same thing I did and that many guys are doing. They're just going for numbers and they're forgetting that it's the girl that they want to have sex with, not the number. The girl is primary. The number is secondary. Never forget this rule. Always remember it. Always remember it. Always remember it. All right. Until next time with my next video coming out, subscribe below to Essence of Solo and I catch you guys around. All right guys, in the video I forgot to tell you this part and that's the challenge. The challenge that I want you to do when you go out there is each girl you talk to, whether it be during a day, I want you to, if she's doing a day, if it's going well just a little bit, try to go for the instant date. Just try. I don't care if it's going well slightly. Try to go for the instant date. See what she's doing. Especially if it's going really well, go for the instant date. Every single time. Do that for the next seven days and see how your fucking life changes with women, really. See how your day game changes. And if you're going out at night, what I want you to do is, when, you're going, when you see that girl that you want to talk to and you go up to her and everything is going good, push yourself further. Try to take her somewhere new. Try to take her to the bar. Try to take her to an isolated location so you can get to know her more. Try to take her away from her friends. Try to take her to another bar. Try to take her outside to the smoking area. Whatever it is that you need to do, remember that the girl wants you and you want the girl. That is what matters. The number is just a bridge for you to see her again. The number is just a way for you to contact her again. The girl is primary. The number is secondary. Try this. For the next seven days, try it, try it, try it. Even try to take a girl home if it even gets to that point. But the gist of this video is go further than what you're used to and get the girl and not the number. And of course, if you do come to it, get the number. I'm not just saying if you, if you don't get the girl, then don't get the number. The, girl, the number is secondary. That's why I say that. I don't really talk about getting the number because I don't want you to. But you can get the number if you need to. If the girl say I'm in a rush, get the number. If the girl say tonight it can't happen because I'm the uh, DD, the designated driver, then get the number and try to see her again. Otherwise, go for the girl. That is a challenge that I want you to do. Uh, right below how the challenge uh, worked out for you. And I'll see you next time.